this is these are SAS drives, you know, not SATA, but uh, wow, that would be the difference. Anyway, the connectors. I don't know if I can get them to where you can see them at all, but uh, I, I had decided when I had it out last time that the uh, connectors won't. Uh, Well, I don't want to mess with that. That's not what I want to do right now. I was thinking about getting out a SATA connector, see if it would plug onto the smaller one. But <sighs> you can get somewhere in there. I can't open the door any further than that. I've got all kinds of... What are we looking at? Why do I see it? Oh, I'm too low. I was like, why do I see a towel? That's a towel. I, I put a towel under the server so that when I... I, I can spin it around and get to the... Uh, actually, you can see that bay. Okay. You could spin it around and, and, and open it up and get to the back... Or to get to the USBs on the back. So... So yeah, it goes in there just fine. So now it won't complain. And I know I'm getting in front of the camera, but I can't help it. Can't, can't get the door open. I got stuff in the way in the floor. So I'll go ahead and turn it on. And everything should be fine now. So let's get back on the screen so that we can see what's going on over there as it boosts up. There. Okay, now. How much battery do I have left? Oh, I think it's almost out of battery. It may quit before... Uh, Oh, it started a new video, didn't it? It only goes to so, so such three gigabytes or something, then starts a new video. But this battery wasn't all that good either. I haven't charged them in a while. Yeah, it's like going from two bars to, to zero bars. So, uh, kind of hung here. I'll just uh, hope it makes it. Of course. <clears throat> because I have to take the camera off the tripod and take the quick release thing off in order to uh, replace the battery. But, uh, oh, I know what I can do. I can plug it into a charger. That's right, that's what I always do. Yeah, yeah there we go, there's our HP Pro Lion logo. It should just boot normally now. So, <sighs> yeah, okay. Now I got power. You can see the computer. It wants to talk to it, but if it's just a uh, power supply, then it's fine. But you can't put any more than a one amp power supply. I tried a two amp and it shut it down every time you. Well, it, it doesn't shut the camera down, but as soon as you try to record, it shuts down. Uh, so, uh, yeah, now the battery's blinking like it's charging and we're still making a video. Okay. Well, it's still there. It that's given the same error, oh, but there we go, it went on by. And there's a Fedora 32 Linux, should, should boot that up just fine. But uh, I 
I think, what am I thinking here? <clears throat> Turn my thing away so I can see what where my screen so that I can see what I'm pointing at. <clears throat> I think I'll get out an SATA connector. I really forget where I put things nowadays. I had one, uh, a little short one from a, I have a hard drive adapter, uh, that I, but it doesn't do, okay, it does do SATA drives, but it doesn't, I didn't think it would do this drive. Well, I know, well, the data portion on it won't, I know that. I already looked at it. So, yeah, that's right. So, even if, I, I was thinking, well, what a SATA connector, it's finished booting now. I got to log on. <coughs> <coughs> what I was thinking is, will a SATA connector connect to that little one? But that would only work on a SATA drive. Even if it connected, it wouldn't. I don't think it would get the data because it has two rows of connectors: a short one and a long one. <coughs> uh, <coughs> you know. <coughs> Where is that adapter? <clears throat> I see. I'll go ahead and log on. And then I have to type start X to get it to boot up <clears throat> and uh, into the graphical user interface, uh, Mate Desktop. I don't remember where that thing was. Just from the other day. I think I put it back where I had it, because if I keep moving things around, I get even in worse shape finding them. I guess it's in here. Yeah, here it is. <sighs> okay, so... I'm going to aim to the... Uh, back over here on my little workbench because... So there it is, it's working perfectly now, it's like normal. And I won't have to, as long as I leave it, I can leave it like that as long as I want to. But, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I know when you zoom, this is a digital, only a digital zoom camera, I know it gets kind of blurry when you do that. But, even though it's at what they call Ultra HD, but it's it's only a 13 megapixel CMOS sensor, and then they use software in the camera to bump it up, <clears throat> and it's not that great. But it is. But I've tried every setting on the thing, and and it does look better that way than any other way. But anyway, if I zoom way out, then now well, let's do it because I don't really. Yeah, see, that's just if you leave it like that's generally what I do is leave it like that. I'm going to do that because, <clears throat> because of what I know about the camera, I think. I could move it closer, couldn't I? Let's do that. We'll move the camera closer. That was only to show the monitor back there. The legs are hanging up. I gotta make sure my mic is in the right place that I can actually use it. I think that's gonna be good. Now, <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm curious. It's a, I don't think I tried it. 
Last time I just looked at it and said, no, that won't work. The adapters, I mean. So, here's my little adapter, and I, just, I remembered now that, you know, the way you do SATA drives is you plug this little adapter in here. You can use a regular length one, and then that's it. Plug this into USB, and you have to power the drive externally. Well, with the SATA drives, I don't think you do. With the IDE drives, you've got to... See, these other connectors are well, actually floppy. I think it'll do floppy and IDE drives and SATA. Yeah, it's labeled. Oh, no, it's just labeled. Yeah, IDE busy. Oh, that's a light. Anyway, yeah, I believe it'll do... F Maybe it won't do floppy. I think it'll do IDE CD CD-ROM drives. I remember that. It'll do CD-ROM drives, regular IDE drives, and SATA. And here's, oh, that's the power adapter for SATA drives. Oh, and, and the power supply for it died. So if I had a, a female uh, connector, to, you know, with power on it, then I could power it up. Actually, I can do that. Okay, let's just take this off from itself. And uh, it does not look like the same kind of connector. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Well, it looks like it's seven pins. I, I don't necessarily trust my. Oh, no, it won't go on there. Make different. <clears throat> it's not uh, divided to where you could get the SATA connector on there at all. <clears throat> yeah, so the only thing I have that will uh, plug into that. Oh, Molex. It does have a Molex. Uh, very small. I've never seen one like that. There's Molex by it, but there's four pins off to the side that are Molex. That'd be for power. That may be how it works inside the server. Not sure. Or it may be an alternate way. I'm kind of, I figure it's probably an alternate way to do it, <clears throat> power it up. Because I figured these here are the power and those are the data. So, uh, Well, I'll leave it like this, and then if I just didn't want to, you know, take it all apart, have put it back together one next time when I wanted to work on it. But what next time if I want to try to, you know, use part uh, some of the tools in Party Magic, like the the hard drive diagnostics tool that's in there, it's the best the one I like the best. <clears throat> it can tell you about all the bad sectors and everything like that. <clears throat> And, uh, so, uh, it's the only thing that I haven't used on it. I use several hard drive, app, uh, drive, you know, apps <coughs> in Fedora 32. <coughs> uh, but I'll have to put it back in the server unless I, the only one other way I might be able to do it is, uh, uh, if I took, I had originally thought I would I have two Seagate backup drives, uh, USB backup drives or not. Uh, and I've been seen in videos that uh, a lot, they're not all exactly the same inside of there, but a lot of them have a SATA drive that that's just like this, same size, same connectors. You can plug them right into the server and get, you know, 10, you know, 5, 8, 10 terabytes, whatever, or even more nowadays. <coughs> of course, they're all going up in such high prices now, I don't want to buy any now. <coughs> but uh, you can just plug them straight into the server. Um which was what my goal was. I was going to fill those last two bays with eight or ten terabyte drives, and uh, <clears throat> that would be my backup area. But then, uh, 
COVID came and <clears throat> changed everything. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, prices got so high and all that stuff. <clears throat> um, Anyway, I can put this. I can still put this in there if I want to to try to test it. It was kind of scared to do it in a way because all my other good drives are in there too, you know. And you got uh, <clears throat> which what I what I would do is boot to the Parted Magic Live system, but uh, you know if you make a mistake and do do something to the wrong drive, then uh, I've never done, done a server with Parted Magic, so I don't know how it's going to display the drives, what numbers it'll give them and all that sort of stuff. It doesn't... <clears throat> well, it, it's more likely to do it the way, uh, the way you could figure it out with Linux than it would be with Windows. Windows, you know, they use drive A, B, C, D and all that. <clears throat> but, uh, anyway. I was able to tell which one it was with the applications that I have on uh, my uh, server. <clears throat> My allergy medicine hasn't finished. It's still working. I'm still having trouble. Uh, it usually gets worse before it gets better. I start getting some drainage and stuff. But I uh, can't tell which way is which. There we go. So, uh, yeah, that'll be all I'm going to do right now. But I just thought I'd kind of go through that since it hung up. Uh, well, because I wanted to show that that last error, the one that it was given, you know, about the bad drive and it didn't like it, and finally this time, you know, it wouldn't boot up. So now I won't have to have that it'll boot faster, and I won't have to, uh, it, you know, if I want to work on it, I'll just have to put it all back together again. Okay, so that's it, and. Uh, yeah. Okay. Can use a remote this time. All right. Uh, see you later.